Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how to use the snapshot listener, which is one of the most powerful features of Firestore because it enables us to retrieve real time updates from our database. So you can see that is the app from the last video. And when I add a new person here and click on save to database, then you can see that it immediately gets retrieved again by our snapshot listener that I added. So whenever any kind of data inside of the whole collection will change, the snapshot listener will trigger and notify us about the changes. So that also means if I just go into our Firebase console and change the age from that person here to 10 for example and press update, and go back to the emulator, then you can see it all also updated the age here. And that is a feature that you really need all the time when using Firestore. So inside Android Studio, that is not very difficult to do. I just want to create a new function here, a private function, subscribe to real-time updates. And that function won't use a coroutine this time because the snapshot listener already comes with a callback function which we will use here and that is just very easy to add we just use our person collection reference and add a snapshot listener here as you can see choose this one with the lambda function that gives us the query snapshot so the snapshot that contains all of its documents so in our case all of its persons and in case something goes wrong it also gives us an exception so first of all, I want to check if the Firebase exception is not equal to null. So in that case, we got an exception and something went wrong. In that case, we just want to show a toast here, toast.make text, this and pass our, no, it's it.message. And that will be toast.length long, call it show. And we also want to return out of that snapshot listener because we don't want to continue afterwards in our code. So now we will assume that everything went well if we reached this line here. And in that case, we want to check if the query snapshot is not, not equal to null because that is nullable if you press on that and press Control Q. You can see that question mark, it is nullable. We need to make that null check here. And here we can basically just copy what we had from the last video. So the part from where we create that string builder and the loop copy that and paste it in here in our um, snapshot let block and we can replace this here with it and we want to set the the text of our text view so we want to update it so let's write tv persons dot text is equal to sb dot to string and that is now really everything we need to do that is so powerful that feature of firestore because Every time the data changes in our database, this block of code immediately gets called in our app and gives us all the documents inside of our collection and we can simply update our UI. So let's make sure to call that function in on create. I will call it right here, subscribe to real time updates. And I will also, yeah, let's, let's comment that out, that button click because we don't want to get data manually here, instead we get it anyways from the real-time update. So this will also trigger when we open the app. So let's run the app and see what happens. There we go. You can see we immediately got the data this time and we didn't need to press on retrieve data. And if we add a person here and click on save to database, it should immediately fetch that data because the snapshot listener will trigger and it should be displayed here. So if we click on that, you can see it is immediately there because Firestore is a real fast database. So if you have any questions, then really don't mind asking them in the comments so I can answer them. And still, if you like this video, please let me know that too. That would make me really happy. And yeah, have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.